A burnt in Z Man. Foundation of it is obviously to get burnt in. So we'll yeah. take a whole brisket and we rub her down with a brisket rub, which mm -hmm. is really a combination of our original barbecue seasoning and our steak seasoning. 50 okay. 50. We cook that at 185 degrees for 12 to 14 hours, depending on the size of the brisket. Mm -hmm. We pull them off the smoker. Once they've been pulled off and they cool down for about an hour, we separate the point from the mm -hmm. flat. The flat's mm -hmm. what sliced brisket comes from. Mm -hmm. And the point still has a lot of marbling in it to that mm -hmm. point. We trim off the excess fat, re-season it, put it back on the smoker, and that time we put it on there at 275 degrees. Mm -hmm. It takes, depending on the size of the points, it takes between mm -hmm. two and three hours. Mm -hmm. And when, there's, when we open that up, it's bubbling. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's frying inside mm -hmm. the smoker. Mm -hmm. And then you pull that off of there. And then as soon as it's cool enough where it just rested. doesn't descend, it's rested. You know, mm -hmm. it takes an hour of resting at least. Yeah. Otherwise, if you try to slice it right then, it just falls apart. Fall apart. Yeah. You know, so let it rest for an hour, hour and a half. And then you slice it in chunks, about that big square, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. And then you take those chunks, and the way we do it is a little different, is we literally, we'll toss it in sauce, and when we get ready to serve it, we lightly put it or... lightly, I mean, barely a little bit of sauce over mm -hmm. it, you know. Yeah. Then we put that into the convection oven to caramelize that sauce on yeah. the outside of that mm -hmm. burnt in. Yeah. Then you take... Then you can build a sandwich. Okay. So we're 17 hours into it yeah, already, okay. at least. So then you take those chunks of meat, you take a, a Kaiser bun, mm -hmm. you know, high gluten Kaiser yeah. bun. Yeah. And then you, you butter both yeah. sides of it. <laughs> and you, you well, it's got to be to hold on, hold on what you do. You, know, you so toast first, then you butter. You toast it. You yeah. butter it first oh, okay. and then you toast it on the griddle yeah, that way okay. it really I mean you're yeah. toasting it at that yeah. point you know and then from that point you'll take and put that burnt in on there smoked provolone on there two fat boy onion rings drizzle sauce on it put the cap on that and there's your sandwich the Z-Man that Jeff does is phenomenally good you know yeah. it's it's great I, I, I like the there's another nuanced difference between Oklahoma brisket and the way that he does brisket. In Oklahoma, mm -hmm. they'll give you a schooling if you try and slice thin brisket. Yeah. It's got to be thick right. cut brisket. Right. They don't want to rather like be Texas, ch yeah. chunked, you know, brisket. Yeah. That's what we're used to here. So it, it, when we, and we do a normal brisket Z-Man, but mm -hmm. when I started doing burnt in Z-Man, where you mm -hmm. take a big Kaiser roll, and you buttered it and you toasted both sides of it. Mm -hmm. And then it, once you take that, you take those, you literally take a half pound of burnt ends and yeah. cap those on top of that. Then your smoked provolone that goes on top of that. Then once you put those big onion rings, and, and mm -hmm. we use the exact same onion ring that Jeff used. Once you yeah. find something that works right, oh, yeah. don't, don't fix it. But same thing with french yeah. fries. We picked yeah. set that french fries out in 1995, yeah. and we use the same french fry yeah. that we have since 95. That's good. I mean, that's just yeah. Same oil, same fries. And, you and know, you sell a lot of the Z-Man? That's it. It's our number one sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Number the burnt in Z-Man is number one. Okay. You've got to have Oklahoma, Oklahoma bologna. You've got to have okra. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and what? Okra. 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 You've got to have fried okra. okra. Can't yeah. not do I fried okra. Yeah. So, yeah, we did too. You know, everyone did in Oklahoma, so you got to have it. Now, when I first opened, my favorite bologna in the world, Gary Crane makes it over at Ralph's Packing, hmm. and it's garlic bologna. And it's 100% whole muscle bologna. So it's real firm and it's just so good, you know. And that's what you use here? Well, that's what I started with. Yeah. And then I had people coming and I'm they they'd say, not this bologna? is not bologna. Yeah. I'd say, it is bologna. And I said, but Ostermeyer ruined it yeah. for all of us that want to do it good. Yeah. And they said, well, I don't know. It, it's not bologna. You yeah. know, I'm going, you're really? And I'd yeah. say, and you're paying so, top dollar And for I it. was paying, you know, four bucks a pound for this yeah. bologna. So, I went and I picked out my, my next favorite bologna it was both a combination of pork and beef. Mm -hmm. And it's a farmland bologna. And it was like a buck and a dime. Mm -hmm. And people went nuts over it. Best bologna I've ever had in my life, you know. <laughs> I'm going, okay, that's, that's exactly yeah. the way it should be.